morning. Welcome to Washita Mountain Podcast Morning Coffee Edition. Well, it's the only edition, but I don't always do it in the morning. But usually, I've been doing it in the morning because I've been getting up with the crack of dawn. That's right. Let me get a sip of coffee. You know the drill. Got to jumble my brain. Mm, that's good. So last night I watched a video that kind of blew my mind because it's something hardly any of us ever think about. I All the way from the top down, it's really something I've never heard discussed before. It's just another one of them things that, how could you have missed this? And I'll post a link to this video, so after this podcast you can click on it and watch it it's about an hour long but it will open your eyes to what's going on around us and you know all the time things you know never cease to amaze us of what the human race can do to demolish the earth even further now i am not one of those tree hugger types i don't go out and do protests maybe i should but no i don't like people so i don't go ga gather up with them but this is something that kind of blew my mind, and it's going on today, and I look at things this way, even, you know, we understand a lot of the things we do are destructive, but we keep on doing them because it's part of our daily lives. Nothing's ever going to change. There's not going to be a magical group of people come together and change something. It's just never going to happen. You know, the evolution of the human being, and I'm not talking about coming from monkeys. I'm talking from the Stone Age to where we are now. That is not evolution. It is de-evolution. Because we're the only being on Earth that doesn't care. You know, you might say you care. But yet you're going home. You're using the same products that are uh, contributing to the demise of the planet, you know, or, or, and you don't care because you're just one person. Certainly one person doesn't affect everything. Well, it does. And there's too many of us on this planet and there's getting to be way, way more. And that only leads to, you know, and the thinking is getting, it's greed. Number one, it's greed. Now let me get off that tangent. Let me discuss, it's just something a lot of us don't think about. What is one of the biggest commodities, it is the biggest, behind air and water? The most consumed commodity, resource, whatever you want to call it. And most everything you use today, most everything, is made from it. And if we run out of it, life as we know it today puts us back into the Stone Age where they didn't use a lot of it. But the world was a much better place. Yeah, you didn't live long. Well, that commodity, that resource would be sand. Yep, sand. I know. It's kind of clicking now, isn't it? You know, hundreds and thousands, for thousands and hundreds of years, thousands of years, we used wood, adobe, bamboo, many other resources to build a spit, to build our, our, our homes, our buildings. And now what do we use primarily? Concrete. And concrete requires lots of sand, a lot of sand. Just about everything is made of concrete because if you look back at history, they would build whole towns uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking American West, they would build entire towns out of wood. And what would happen? One of them would catch fire, the whole town would burn down. So they started using concrete. And concrete is a wonderful uh, construction product. But it also takes sand. Uh, I won't get into it a whole lot. I, I'd really like y'all to go watch this video, but basically... When you think about it, well, you know, I'm thinking that when I first started watching the video, I'm like, look at all these deserts we have. 
that's an endless supply of sand but here's the thing you can't use desert sand because desert sand is rounded it's round it's like perfectly round what happens if you try to stick a bunch of basketballs together they're just going to bounce off each other so desert sand cannot be used for basically anything we use sand for uh, because it is round and it will not pack but the sand that you see on your beaches and in the ocean uh, most in dug up off the land it has angles so it'll pack I mean you've been to the beach you know how to make a sand castle well you couldn't do that in the desert with sand because it would just fall down and collapse so they cannot use desert sand so what they're doing is they now they are dredging it off the ocean floor most of the sand is located towards the beaches and this is going to make sense in a minute towards the beaches and they're even taking it from a lot of countries off the beaches there are guys with donkeys mules i think they said donkeys it's in the video they are literally shoveling the sand off the beach and packing it on their mules and selling it to the construction companies who know where it's coming from and in the meantime all these countries uh like the mal mali or somewhere like in there's a whole bunch of islands the bali islands i believe i don't know they're all eroding they have no more beaches and their homes are like they're putting plywood up to keep the water from washing their home away and this is happening all over the world and at the rate it's happening you know it, it's terrible but the products that are made with sand is you know credit cards we could do without them couldn't we computer chips you cannot make a computer chip or a processor without sand sand is found in the in the making of steel it, it you know you you got a gold ring they've used sand to probably smelt it um cosmetics i mean there's a whole list of what it's you could google it and see what products are a derivative of sand but it's disappearing now sand is something that's like oil it takes millions and millions of years to create and it's not replenishable you can make sand if you grind up glass there's a way there's a few companies doing it and when you when you return glass glass is made of sand that's another big product that is made of sand and we use a lot of glass and only a quarter of that gets recycled but you can make sand out of glass i think it was in san francisco if i ain't mistaken uh you know back in the seven eighteen hundreds they would dump all their trash on the beach and all that's left now is the old bottles and all that the bottles have broke up over time and returned to sand but it's still colored but you can make sand out of glass but the problem is it's too expensive to do when sand is free for the taking from the oceans and the beaches now what's happening is they're removing all this sand and they have these dredging machines and they are sucking up all the fish all the all the life anything that is in the way gets sucked up in the machine and pulverized so we can build our concrete buildings because we are overpopulated and everybody wants to be crammed into a city and we got to have our skyscrapers uh, but that's but by doing this dredging they are creating a situation where flooding is going to be more you know you're going to see a lot more flooding because it doesn't have the natural ability to keep it away so that could explain a lot of you know you can call it climate change but a lot of it's the human beings taking something from the earth that's creating the problem nobody ever mentions this you don't see this come up you know in in the government they don't care about that because government they're in the construction big time you're not going to hear it from them governments was the dumbest thing human beings ever invented you know appoint a certain amount of people to govern the people you know we should have stuck to small i wouldn't say tribes but we should have stuck to small groups 
had one guy who was in charge and everybody had a say but no we got a we had two form in two large countries elect one guy look at russia they they got themselves a what 24 year dictator now you know i don't blame the people of russia for that you know people of russia are just like us but they they've let it go to the point where you know but that's where we're at in society. But man, hey, we'll keep this short. But go check out that video. It's on a channel I watch once in a while. It's called Endeavor. Uh, it's a pretty big channel. But, you know, who'd have thought? Next to air and water, our biggest resource, of course, we are robbing the earth of it, is sand. That's right. And uh, we always talk, yeah, we're going to change the world. Our grandkids, we got to teach our kids. They're going to change the world. No, they're not. They're not. It hasn't happened in, since we became a modern civilization, if you want to call it that, since uh, the, the Industrial Revolution. It isn't going to happen in the future. And if anything, I see it getting worse. Because physical labor has went out the window. Nobody wants to do that anymore. No. You try to hire somebody to help you with something. You're not going to find them. And, you know, why do you think all these migrants are coming here? They will work. They will work. The ones that aren't, you know, the now we got migrants coming in that they're not here to work. They're here to do us harm. You know, how do, how do Chinese nationals get into our country? They're not crossing their border. They're flying into the South America and coming up through there. And let me tell you, they don't have a good agenda. They do, and they are, their government is bringing them here. And if you think I'm wrong, think again. They're not coming here for a better life. They're coming here to make our life worse. I don't have problems with the with the South American people coming, but you know, when you got people from countries that are our enemies. How do I get up on that subject? I'm talking about sand. Oh, well. All right, guys. We'll keep this short. But think about it. Go watch that video. It's pretty interesting. Now, if you're one of them that don't care, then don't go watch it. Uh, it's not like we're going to ever do anything about it because we will not. We will not. I don't see some magic group rising up. And then all of a sudden, it's gone. You know, you can't put back what you already took. Uh, it's like a plate of cookies, you know. You sit there and you eat them all. You're not going to get any more. They're gone. You'll have to bake more. But we can't bake more sand. Thanks for watching. We will see you tomorrow. i got to get to work laying a floor. Happy trails.